Hi, Drive. I'm Sean Durek, and welcome to Woke Wednesday. The elders and I have chosen the stone for you, and it is the animal spirit, the koala. Go check out the stone so you can see exactly what stones are right for you that the elders and I have chosen. If you chose stone number one, I have a question for you. Is your home stress-free? Is there bickering, arguing, nagging, complaining in your home? Because that's creating negative energy. And the message is for you to make your home a sanctuary. So that every time you go there, you're getting replenished instead of being drained. Are the pictures on the wall, the way your furniture's set up, the colors you've chosen, is your home a sanctuary energy? Are the people in your home honoring the sacredness of that sanctuary in your home? Do they treat your home like an office or a place where they can just dump all of their negativity? Your home is not a place to dump negativity. Your home is a place to replenish, rebuild, and revive. It is a place to fill you up so that you are able to step into the world in a light that is so powerful because you are filled up in your home. So if your home has bickering, complaining, and people arguing and all this, you have to change the rules to make sure that your home is honoring the sacredness of your spirit. I love you. You can do it. If you've chosen stone number two, this is about you making time to realize, are you realizing how empathic you are? Do you realize how sensitive you are to energies? And are you taking enough alone time, shutting off all the lights, getting rid of all the sensories that are affecting you, and just sitting in that space so that you can reclaim your energy and power and say, this doesn't belong to me, and let go of other people's energies that you're taking on that can overcloud you and overstimulate you and overwhelm you and cause you high levels of anxiety. This is about you stepping away from those things and being able to create that sacred space for yourself so that you can block out all that disturbances, turn off your device, is turn off your TV, even turn off the lights, and just sit in a place of silence with a candle and just breathe and return your energy back to yourself. Because when you do so, you're gonna find you have more energy, more power, and you're gonna feel more centered in who you are as a human being. And if you have chosen stone number three, this is about you acknowledging everything in your life that represents abundance. Sometimes people think abundance is about money, but it's not. That's prosperity and that's currency. Abundance is about having an abundance of something, abundance of wisdom. You can even have abundance of shoes. You can have abundance of many things. And so look at what you are abundant in and acknowledge it and sit with it and appreciate it and say, yes, I am abundant and I'm bringing in more abundance into my life. The more you start to see the abundance on the planet and see the abundance within yourself, you will attract more currency and prosperity in your life and you will bring in more exciting experiences for you to be even more abundant than what you are right now. Share your abundance with everyone by acknowledging the abundance in other people, acknowledge it in yourself, and acknowledge it in our world. Hey Tribe, if you love the messages that we have for you here at Woke Wednesday, as much as the elders and I and spirits love giving it to you, please join us again for next week for more messages. I love you so much. And remember, we are powerful and we are powerfully changing the world every day in every action that we do. So put a smile on your face and make a change by bringing that energy into your life and into the life of others. See you next week. Bye.